Hey, what's up, Mega Knights? Sorry for not posting anything over the week. Weather's been kind of bad over here. But now that things are clear today, I think I can get at least two videos uploaded. Maybe all three, who knows? Anyways, uh, on to the fights. This is the Femme Fatales versus Tarkin Shard Army. Now, in order for this team to actually have a actual chance, Ferrer has been put in her gold mode. She was supposed to have her dark mode on last fight, but I forgot about that. Twilight Sparkle has her gold mode, in which the only thing that changes there is that her projectiles are more longer lasting, so that means, uh, yeah, she can be a little cannon now. As for Kuoa, she's still in her dark mode. If I put her in any other mode, she'll be too cheap. And finally, Raisin, she's unchanged. She's pretty much the same. Hope, hope you all enjoy the fight. On Absolute Cloud Night. Welcome to Quake 3 Arena. Farrah can only heal three out of four of her teammates. Raisin cannot be healed since she has her own healing moves. So in other words, she's good. She don't really need it. Plus, she has full screen hypers, so it's gonna be hard to hit her anyways. As you see here, yeah, she just spammed the same move twice. Huh, thought I'd put Twilight in her gold mode. That's more of her dark mode right there. It still has the same effects. As you can see here. Except in her gold mode, she can go into her uh, X mode rather easily. In dark mode, she it takes a little longer, but she can still achieve it. Now with Ferris gold mode, she can uh, sap health and also heal her teammates rather constantly. Now the Femme Fatales are not the only team who can take on the Tarkin Char Army, but unfortunately they did get the chance to fight them in the tournament. The Wiccans wipe them out every time. The Enforcers are not afraid of them. And as for Team Deathly, they can kind of go even with them, but they don't always win. As for my guest teams, well, believe it or not, I reviewed all of them. None of them could take out the Tarkin Char Army. So I had to do this. Make sure one of my teams take them out for them. Believe it or not, Amid Ways, yes, your team cannot take on the army. And the first victory goes to the Femme Fatales. With no teammates down. That's good. Everything about Goldfarer is that her silk will start out at the beginning of the round. Making sure her teammates stay alive. Oh, that's got her. Oh, we got a little uh, glitch there going on with Twilight, but it's okay. It fixes itself rather quickly. Proton cannon. But that won't work since Twilight was already throwing a projectile at them. Oh, the gun. Oh, that's got her. Twilight were actually on her gold mode, she'd be more dangerous than this. But they're doing pretty well at this level. Keep in mind, ladies, if you lose with a teammate down, you won't have your whole team next round. Oh, she threw out a draining attack. What this does is it drains the opponent's health while they're standing on the ground. This is bad for the army because they don't actually jump. Well, the Tarka can horde bite, but not much. Oh, you don't want to leave Twilight unattended. She will blast you with projectiles. Then again, Racing can do the same thing. So she actually does a full screen about it. Still have the Tarkatan Horde still standing. Every other bonus team is probably down. My 
goodness, they're just over there ganging up on Kuo over there. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And there you have it, all four members still standing. Fair, Kuo, Raisin, and Twilight Sparkle. Now that the Tarkin army, uh, I'm sorry, Tarkin Shard army is out, I can delete them from the list. I did not really want to make my teams fight them. Well, the, my guest teams. Sorry, folks. So, on to the next fight. The Wiccans versus the Legion. Oh boy, Legion's tough. But then again, so are the Wiccans. Now, before I press A, take a look at uh, Pill's eyes. Yeah, while the weather's been affecting my internet, I've been practicing my spriting a bit. And I added a little bit of eyeshadow to Pill, wondering, will that work for her? Eh, doesn't seem too bad, I guess. Hey, I keep saying it myself, I want to be a Spriter, I want to make moving characters. And getting in one little practice helps. What am I doing? He's all the way down here. There he is. Strider, I hit you. Taking on Leon's crew. Leon himself. Nazika. If I can find her. Ah, there's another member. Seriously, where are you, Nazika? Or Nadika? I keep forgetting, is it Nazika? As in with an S or a T? As in Nazika. Is she down here? No? Ah, oh, there she is. I saw her. And the last member of the Legion is... I think it was Evil Homer. Well, let's check to make sure. I want to get this right. Yep, Eve Homer. And he is right here. I wish both of you the best of luck. Remember, no holding back. Legion was made to actually take on the Blight and the Shadows of Sovereign because they're both relatively tough teams. My goodness, the Wiccans are murdering them. I I, I don't even know what's going on here because we're, everyone's getting thrown into the... Oh my goodness. The Wiccans pulverized them. Guys, did you even let them get a hit on you? I don't think they did. This is brutality. And here, I thought the Legion might actually stand a chance, but jeez. Well, we got Eva Homer throwing out some attacks. Not because still up, but not for long. And there we have it, the Legion was no match for Team Wiccan. Man, they sure do want that victory. But I don't blame them, every team wants to win this tournament. Next up we have Swords of Light versus the Blight. Ha, that rhymes. Oh man, but here's the sad thing. Swords of Light only have one member, while the Blight has all three. Well, all that. They have... You know what I mean. Oh, who should I start out with? Well, it should be Micklin, EXE. He's the leader of the Blight, even though they're not an actual team. 
Next will be Gloria. Is she down here? No, she's up one. There she is. And finally, Virgil. Who I dare see is a great benefit to the team. Taking on the only member left, Miki Sayaka. Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miki. Oh, by the way, Miki is also a Enforcers member. In fact, everyone who was fighting with her was either a Team Wiccan or a Team Enforcer member. There were two Enforcers and two Wiccans. The Face of Chaos versus the Sword of Light. Let's see who's gonna get this. Come on, Mickey. We need you on your A game. I'm not sure why she stood in the corner waiting on him. You're supposed to attack him right away. Come on, Micklin. Fight fair. Is that her guard bar? Didn't know she had one. Micklin just keeps freezing time. He's not gonna give them a chance. Well, she finally got one hit out on him. This is unfortunate. Mickey's gotta put up with this. Well, she got another hit out on him. She's not a very good matchup for this guy. She doesn't know how to deal with him. Got out a few hits, but that's not quite enough. Oh. Uh oh, Chaos Cannon. Ouch. Micklin the EXE is a boss type, so it's gonna be really tough to take him down. Even for a single character like Mickey. Keep trying, Mickey. Oh, no. Don't keep trying. You got knocked out. Come on, Mickey. Get your A game going. If you can knock out Micklin, that'll severely hurt the blight. Ah, oh, come on. You gotta learn how to dodge. Whoa, wait a minute. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this automatically disqualifies the Blight. Nicklin EXE used a one-hit KO in which I did not know he had. Swords of Light, you gain the win. Man, I gotta check these things more carefully next time. The Blight is now disqualified due to their leader using a one-hit KO, in which I did not know he had. Out of the many, many, many times I've used him, well, mostly in team fights, I've never seen him do that. If you guys don't believe me, I can send you the download link. Next up is Robo Riot vs. Egg Brigade. Who remains in Robo Riot? Uh, let's see here, Dragon Claw and Robo Lin. We'll start out with Dragon Claw first, and Robo Lin after. She's right there. There we go. Congratulations, Mickey. D due to uh, Micklin knocking you out with a one-hit KO, he just got his team disqualified. Mickey, not Mickey. The sorry, full dry mouth. Oh, 
Uh, I just woke up not that long ago, so that's why I'm yawning. Oh, where is that giant robot? Eggman, where'd you park it? Is it up here? Yep. And the robots. Might know, they're back here. I wish both teams the best of luck, and it will be taking place on Highway Apocalypse. Do you think you can beat me? Yes. Oh boy. Technical error on my part, folks. I did not put them in the right fighting order. Wait, what's going on here? Gash nabbit. Pay attention, Woodcloud. Pay attention. He had two slots selected, not four. We'll let it take place on Sky Chase. I'm sort of in a hurry. Do you think you can beat me? Oh! Already gr aggressively attacking Dragon Claw. Can't believe the Blight actually had a one-hit KO character. Micklin would not be included in any other tournaments from now on. Oh, we already got Dragon Claw making that comeback. My goodness, Dr. Robartnik is just being aggressive. Come on, Dragon Claw, you could have done something about that. Oh, there we go. He's doing something, finally. Now it's Robotnik's turn to take a beating. Kaboom! Oh! Only a hit left. Can he do it? Yes, he did it! Dragon Claw knocked out Dr. Robotnik. Nice. And let's see if he can take on the drill tank. Chances are he may not be able to. His AI depends on comboing characters. And this is a character you can't combo. You can only hit it a few times. That's gotta hurt. At least he's getting some hits off on him. Well, you knocked him down halfway, so that's good. It's up to Robo Lin. Can she do it? Why were you trying to hit it with a mace? You have a very... You have various amounts of projectiles. Use them. You have got to be kidding me. There we go. I think our AI is finally turned on. Oh! Flamethrower versus Drill. Drill wins. Oh, you better not glitch on me this time. I don't think it will, but if it does, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, it didn't. Metal Eggman. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you why are you just crouching there? Um, I'm confused about this. Oh, I see. Since he is a collision that's constantly active, her AI thinks he's attacking, so she's trying to block it. This is her only open chance to hit him. Well, unfortunately, this is not gonna work. However, they did knock out Eggman, so... This means the Egg Brigade will not have him in the next fight. Ouch. Hey, she did something. There we have it, the Egg Brigade has won. Knocking out the few remaining members. 
Miklin EXE is no longer allowed in my tournaments, and I hope you all enjoyed the fights. Robo Riot is now disqualified. Y'all did your best. <laughs>